Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back for another TOS video. Alright, so today we're going to be doing our second Q&A session. Alright, so I decided to make this Q&A session uh, a monthly thing. Alright, so this will be the Q&A session for the month of March. Alright, and then uh, I know I look a bit reddish. Uh, don't worry, I'm not drunk. <laughs> I'm just very very sunburned. Right, my skin is peeling and stuff like that. I don't know if you guys can see it. Right, so anyway, uh QA session now will be a monthly thing. I've decided on that. So um to answer you guys, uh the question given by you guys um as often as possible. Alright, so I decided that one month is a very comfortable pace. Alright, so anyway, um this QA session I've picked out a few questions. And then I'm just gonna be answering them. Alright, so uh, without further ado, let's get this QA session started. Alright, so here we go. Alright, so this um, QA session is gonna be a bit faster. Um, try to make cut my answers as short and simple as possible because there's uh, quite a few questions. Alright, so here's the first question. Um, with so many new cards being released, each one seems more powerful than the last one. Right, are the old teams example Santa Claus, Chang'e, Makina GD uh, is still viable in the new meta? Alright, so um, in a way, they are very much being outclassed, right? especially Santa Claus team, because of um, as as we know how we play it is just Santa Claus with um, Enchantress, and then pre pretty much you just um, slot a PR starter for that free movement time plus 3 rows, that kind of thing. Right, and then um, basically being outclassed by Hades, 3 Enchantress, and a very similar setup, just that Santa Claus is being replaced by Hades. Right, so even now we have PR Hades, right? I don't think PR Center is going to be out. Um, yeah, so um, the sad thing is some teams get buffed up by PR or by amelioration, and then some teams just fall back um fall back and then it's just never gonna be played again right that's the sad thing so if that's like one of your main team i suggest train to be to start training another team right something like that right so you can see here makina gd is like one of my so-called unique team last time but it's not really very unique now because everybody is doing it um uh, right not very strong now of course but still a very fun uh, fun team to play right so basically like all this is powerful it used to be powerful and then it's not as powerful now uh, it's just a cycle right so um, whether they come back do a comeback or not for these cards only will only know when the update comes right so um, as of now we just gotta move on new cards uh, new play style that's all TOS is about Alright, you just got to fit in and go along with the flow. Alright, so, <laughs> yep, with this, let's move on to the next question. Alright, so next up, we have a question from Yu Chen. So, uh, his question is, what are the few main weekly battle cards that you would max out in terms of active skill and leader skill? Alright, so, um, for weekly battle card, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say you farm it for the leader skill because pretty much every single weekly battle cards are pretty mediocre in terms of leader skills, right? Basically, they're just like water attack times two, uh, demon race times two, that kind of um, simple uh, leader skill, right? So basically, what you want to farm, why you want to farm them is because of the active skill, because they can be useful in free to play decks or even P two P decks, right? So uh, a few examples will pretty much be more of like the red cards. Right, those that just come in once in a while and that kind of thing. Like the um up like currently there's this Nekomata Yokai series red card. I I currently uh maxed it out already. So I think it's a very interesting active skill, right? So I try to farm those that have very unique active skill. Uh and I'll try to slot it somewhere else. Right? Another example of a red card. Or not really. That's an extra battle card, right? Oh, God Striker, right? Uh, I I remember God Striker. You see, like all these like active skill that you won't come across anymore. I suggest farming them, right? Like God Striker, uh, 
Jiang Chen from Chinese Paladin series and um, what else alright so I have to pause the video for a while pause the recording for a while because I can't think of that one last card alright so one another example of course there's plenty uh, of other weekly battle cards but that's up to you whether it's important for you to farm or not alright so another one I went to the game and found it is actually the proto metallic dragon uranus alright so all these cards I feel feel that is very useful in terms of uh, different sort of playstyle alright so why did I mention um, this proto metallic is because it's viable it, it can change attributes to fit the various um, sniper decks like Egyptian decks etc alright so uh, basically you want them because they can actually perform well in main those mainstream I wouldn't say mainstream but those important um, burst fire decks alright and then that's the kind of active skill that you want to look out for alright for a weekly battle cards alright so I hope that answers your question and then with this let's move on to the next question alright so I can see that this um, this is like one of the most this is the question like one of the most likes alright so of course I'm gonna be answering this so if TOS come to a standstill like nobody plays it anymore what would you think would be the reason and why right so this is like one of my main concern when Madhead has announced their second game Kronos Gate alright so that that's like my main concern alright if TOS come to a standstill alright uh, I'm just afraid that Madhead um, can't balance the two game properly and then like 10 if they decide to focus more on Chronos Gate and then you see Tower Saviors having lesser and lesser content or having more repeated contents uh, that would drive many players off probably and then I hope that's not gonna happen because I'll be playing two games at the same time once Chrono Chronos Gate is launched alright so that's like pretty much um, one, one reason if TOS came to a standstill and then another one is pretty much them increasing the price of diamonds that would probably be very very bad alright because as of now what I feel is that diamond price is still um, acceptable alright as a, a play, pay to play player alright that sounds like a tongue twister alright so Yep, hopefully none of these will happen and then we will still continue to play TOS as per normal. Alright, so with this, off to the next question. Alright, so I think this is going to be like the most repeated question in every single Q&A. Alright, I don't know whether you are trying to make me predict like the next PR all the time. Alright, I know I got it right for the, the previous Q&A session, like the Aokigahara series that's going to be PR and, and it did, alright, I swear I'm not a manhead stuff. Okay, it's by luck. And then, this time, what is the next series that's going to be power release? I don't know, alright, so this is basically guessing again. So, if you take a look at Aokigahara series, the non-PR one, alright, you scroll down. Uh, just a bit, you realize that it's the the, the dragon series, alright, the one with the Wawel, Fafner, Piazza, Pilatus, right? I don't think they they're gonna get PR because they are such underused or rarely used or never used series, right? So unless Madhead wants to give them a buff to make them usable again, if not, they're just gonna be like dumb there as like pretty much a trash series. Alright, so after that, notice that it's already Babylon. Alright, so I don't think Babylon is ready to get PR yet because they are still very powerful. Alright, and then amelioration, yes, they might get amelioration, but power release, I doubt so. Right, so um, for next series that's going to be power release, I'm not very sure, but I'm very confident that the next power release might be Gimsa. Alright, I'm, I'm still holding on to that firm... Um, believe that Gemsa is going to get her PR very soon, be it um, a, a week or so from now. Right, because uh, as I mentioned, she's being 
overrun by Chinese paladin Zhao Ling Er and the Lin Yue Ru um, team setup. Right, so hopefully we'll see PR Gamsa very soon. And then, yep, with this, let's move on to the next question. Alright, so this is like pretty much a question that been has been asked by my my friends around me that always been seeing me spinning runes like hey what other games do you play other than TOS <laughs> alright so uh, for phone game I only play Tower of Saviors for now so um, as for computer I do play other games like Counter Strike Global Offensive I do play games like Audition C which is pretty much untouched already I pretty much play Counter Strike Global Offensive every day Right, if I'm not playing Tower of Saviors, um, I do visit the arcade once in a while, and then I'll be pretty much be playing games, music games like Jubeat, um, driving games like Midnight, Maximum Tune, Five. Is it like Five now? Yep. So, uh, I don't just stay at home and play Tower of Saviors. There's still many, many other games. All right. So, <laughs> off to the next question. Do you like trains? Um, yes, because it's somehow convenient sometimes, and no, because uh, I just don't like to squeeze with people. All right, so I had this experience whereby I have to stand like this, like because it's so packed, and then I'm trying to like spin my my runes this way. It's it's not a very nice thing. All right, so I rather drive than to take a train. So no, no, I don't like trains. <laughs> Next question. Alright, so we got a question from Kevin. So he asked, what do I work as? Alright, if so, what? Alright, so do you work? If so, what do you work as? Alright, so uh, I did see like a reply from someone else stating that I'm an international swimmer. That was last time. Alright, I do not compete. Um, swimming at a national level anymore so yeah I'm not a, I'm not a national swimmer anymore so I don't I'm not I'm currently not working I'm still serving the army and then yeah after I'm out of the army I'm pretty much gonna be studying so I'm not working as of now all right so if you are wondering then where are you getting like all the, the money to buy diamonds from it's from my savings all right I'm it's called money management. So if you save your money, you can afford to buy diamonds, right? But do it if you have enough money. So don't don't like um spend if you have like sixty dollars, don't spend it all on diamonds. You, you know what I'm, you know what I'm trying to say, right? So just spend if you have that extra money and not spend because you like must get this card the kind of thing right it's a very unhealthy way of playing TOS right so that's a little advice from me just spend if you have that extra money right so with this let's move on to the next question all right so next question is from Dylan so he asks as a pro like you will you think that TOS is less challenging than before and why all right so firstly I don't think I'm a pro in TOS, I, but it's like, what defines a pro? Right? Are you pro because you have all the cards? Are you pro because you have good spinning skills? Right? I don't know what's your definition of a pro. Right? So I'm I'm pretty sure I don't have all the cards, and I I'm pretty sure I don't spin as good as other players. Right? So I'm I'm just like pretty much a very average kind of player out there you know as you can see my index or on my inventory I did show you my inventory not too long ago right I don't have a lot of cards I'm just ma making do with what I have same as you guys all right so yeah anyway back to the question will you th do you think that TOS is less challenging than before and why okay so for me I feel that it is actually the same all right but it's a different kind of challenging uh yeah Right, so last time it was challenging because I was a dumbass in the game. Alright, and then now it's still challenging because of all the new skill that Matt has, has implemented. 
Right, so it's a different kind of ch challenging. Like last time, you are, it's challenging because you're a noob. You know, that kind of, everybody's a noob at some point of time. Alright, and then now uh, as the game progresses, it just gets more and more difficult. Alright, I'm sure you guys feel it as well. Alright, so with this, uh, I'm, I think I'm pretty much answering your question. So let's move on to the next question. Alright, so we have come to more non-TOS topic here. So what kind of music do you listen to? Do you play any instruments? Alright, so I pretty much listen to any kind of music other than like uh, heavy metal or the screamo kind of music. Yeah, I don't listen to that. But other than those, I pretty much listen to any kind of genre, any kind of language. Right, I, I do have like a lot of like Japanese songs, Korean songs, I even have like Thai songs in my phone. Like techno, we have like techno, rock, pop, pretty much any kind of music. Right, so I know like some of you guys are like into like, um, well, what's that thing called? Night, night call? Trance? Right, I do listen to those as well. So I'm, I'm pretty much, I'm, I listen, I listen to a very broad, like, genre of music right so yeah as for instruments i do play the guitar both acoustic and electric guitar right so uh haven't been playing them for a while right i actually have a channel another channel um for just like guitar covers and stuff like that but that's up to you guys to go find that right let's move on to the next question how does it take or train to be a good player like you? Alright, so again, I don't think I'm that good, but I only have two advice for you. Alright, practice and practice and practice. And secondly, do not let. Do not pass your game to other people for them to clear it for you. That is like the most, that's like the golden rule that I'm going to give you. Alright, so if you want to improve you got to do it yourself right like be it power release stage amelioration stage or just your typical stages weekly battle it seal that kind of thing right if you can't do it think right do do some thinking like is my team wrong is my my spinning wrong am i using the wrong active at the wrong time that kind of thing all these thoughts will make you a better player for sure Right, I did all this without anybody's help because no, I, I didn't know anybody playing Tower of Saviors, right? And that's how I improved till now, right? Even now, I'm still learning, um, like the new skills and stuff like that, new combinations, uh, to further improve myself, right? It's a never ending journey of learning, right, in TOS. So, hopefully, you guys, uh, can follow that as well. Right, so next question. Alright, so this question are Norse God dead even if Mad Hate does give them some bumps from time to time. I was planning to make a full discussion video about Norse God, so if you want that please uh tell me in the comments below and I'll make it uh when I have the free time. Right, so this will be a topic for another time. So um let's move on to the next question. Alright, so we're pretty much running out of time here. It's a very long Q&A session once again. Alright, so um, lastly we have Eugene Ong here. This will be the last question by the way. Alright, if you wish to change something in TOS, what would it be? So, I've always wanted to do this. Alright, so listen to me and comment if you agree or disagree with me. Alright, it's, it's up to you guys to decide as well. Alright, I always, always wanted to remove the treasure chest thing, the treasure chest drop in the game. Alright, other than the day of go, and you know the day of go whereby they drop like tons of coins. Alright, fine, acceptable. But those mini stages whereby they just drop coins, just just remove them, you know, or just at least remove the chest that drops money. Can't you replace money with something else? Since we really get like money for like day of go, um, and battle such. Stuff like that, right? You can make chests drop like uh, diamond, diamond fragments, 
uh, something that I, I just like I'm just like making it up all right diamond fragments whereby you can collect 10 of the diamond fragments you get like one full diamond kind of thing or you can just op make a chest drop one or two souls that's a thing as well all right or you can make a chest drop a small stamina refill potion where you refuse like 10 stamina kind of thing right there's like so many possibility you can do with that treasure chest why just drop go right i don't i don't understand there is like something that you guys that, that like mad hate can change but you're still dropping go i don't know all right so <laughs> that is just like one of my thoughts in game every time i see a treasure chest drop and it opens and it's just go all right so um that's just like my point of view in game whenever uh that is like something that i wish uh to be changed in tos all right so if you guys agree with me or disagree with me comment down below i really want to hear your thoughts in about this treasure chest thing all right so pretty much that will be the end of this q a session all right so uh hopefully you guys enjoy this uh, month of march q a session so uh when april when it's about mid april i'll probably uh, do another q a session so stay tuned for that as well so for now leave a like if you enjoy this uh q a session and then as usual i'll see you guys in my next video bye bye